It's the Dean's List on Bermuda College Radio. Live 4.0, powered by the great folks at One Communications. One gives you more. Yes, yes, yes. It is the Dean's List on Bermuda College Radio Live 4.0, proudly powered by the great folks over at One Communications. They call me L.A., but I'm far from Hollywood. And as promised, I am joined in studio by a very, very special guest, the young king, Mr. Rand Black. What's going on, sir? Oh, what up, though? What up, though? Thank you for having me, L.A. What's happening? Let's get it. <laughs> it is so good to have you. How's everything on your end? Man, I can't complain, man. Forgive me for the background change, and I'm flipping up and switching up and doing all kinds of stuff for you right now. You did? No, my, my <laughs> guy came prepared. He came prepared. I'm loving it. He was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and put my EP, yeah. my, my yeah. album out here. Yeah. 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 Let, let me get this promo. Let me get this promo. Let me get this promo. You did? <laughs> I ain't mad at that, man. I am not mad at that at all. So, before we hop into it, how is everything with you? How have you been? I know you have been a busy bee, man, but man. just tell the people what's been going on with you, young kid. First and foremost, let me say thank you for, you know what I mean, having me on the show today. I really, truly appreciate you, man. We in the middle of, like, the most phenomenal push that I've ever been a part of, and I'm the CEO. You feel me? So yeah, yeah. shout out to my man, Dev, from uh, American Monster Guild. That's my project manager. Um we signed a deal and my dude was like, yo, we're going to promote it for a year straight, 365 days from right now. I'm like, what? Like, yeah, right. You know, I'm thinking we're going to do three, four months, five months, you know what I mean, at the most. And they have really been on my head. Like, let's change the way that we've been promoting. Let, let's, let's stay consistent. Let's stay direct. Let's keep giving uh, the fans what the alter egos is. And, you know, it started off as a, a – as a mixtape so um to make it an album it, it took a, it's like a baby i'm sure you know you a dj mm -hmm. you create something yourself yeah that's like your baby you feel me so in creating mm -hmm. the alter egos mixtape series i always knew i wanted to do an album i just wasn't sure when you know what i mean like mm -hmm. uh, i don't know when i'm gonna get this album done um so for somebody like dev to be so supportive so behind it keep pushing it, um, introducing me to people like yourself and DJ Spins and, you know what I mean, Fleet Fleet, you know what I mean, shout out to, uh, you know what I'm talking about, the Fleet. Um, Fleet DJs, yeah. About, it's just crazy. Like I said, man, I just, I'm humbled. I'm blessed, you know what I mean? I'm working my ass off, not just in the studio and in the office, but in my career and teaching kids and coaching. You know what I mean? I'm just humbled and blessed to be where we at right now. You feel me? Just, I'm just humbled, man. God is good. You feel me? Absolutely, all the time and all the time, God is good. <laughs> <laughs> Taking the church real quick, but um, but no, I I truly understand, and you know, I'm I'm so glad that you know you were able to push this this project, this alter your alter ego project, um, for such a such a long time. And now you said you started off; it was it started off as a mixtape series. Yeah. And the most recent installation or the most recent um the most recent drop was in December of 2022. Um if I'm correct. Mm, that was the last November, was that? November, November we dropped the last uh mixtape and that is the okay. Alter Egos 2222 if you can see behind me that's the black cover. Mm -hmm. And then the cover that's on my right hand shoulder or your left hand shoulder is the Alter Egos the album. Um, and that's got all okay. my different personalities on it. So, um, okay. yeah, we dropped uh, the, the last mixtape of the series right now, for now, I should say. <laughs> uh, we dropped that in November. And then uh, that's kind of what we did. We piggybacked it. We wanted to promote the mixtape and bring the mixtape into the album. And then we wanted to present the album. Um, I mean, I don't know how old you are. We don't got to talk about ages in here. You know what I'm talking about? But I come, from, I come from the decades when we used to get cassettes and it had an A side and it had a B side. You feel me? Absolutely. So my project is is formulated the same way. There's one side and then there's another side. You feel me? So um, we just kind of try to throw back some old school hip hop. We try to touch on some of those heads that really understand and been around the game for a minute. Those that have been here and seen it will recognize, like, oh, shit, he got an A-side and a B-side. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. oh, that's dope. And who's doing that nowadays? You know what I mean? In the digital world, 
who's putting out two whole projects. And that's kind of what it is. I mean, I shouldn't mm -hmm. say kind of. That is what it was. It, this would be a double disc CD. You know what I mean? And we just gave you that in this alter ego. So like I said, I'm truly blessed and honored, excited. You know what I mean? Let's get it in. What you want to talk about? Let's get it. <laughs> I'm loving the energy. He is ready. But no, I mean, you know, I, I truly understand, uh, you know, the, the growth of the, from the mixtape series to the, the new project. And you mentioned your alter, well, you know, your different personalities, hence why the mixtape series is called Alter Egos. So just shed a little light on on your different personalities, if you will, uh, and how uh, that plays space uh, in, in I play mixtape. I play football, right? DJ hmm. LA, I play football, so uh I would probably say that my first personality, which is is Ram Black himself, the artist. Um, and let me go ahead and kind of touch on that a little bit. Ram Black is a name that I went by in high school on a football field. You know, on a football field, everybody or in sports, they call you by your last name. Yep. Um, as I started to make a name for myself, everybody was calling me Black. So some of my closest homies start calling me Ram Black. You feel me? Ram Black. I'd be in the hallway. Ram Black. You know what I mean? So um, that's kind of when I started to come back into music. I, I there was no other name that I could take. You know what I mean? I wanted to be me. I wanted to be authentic. I wanted to be uh, transparent. So I took that alter ego, which is my athletic, the more uh, athletic hood side, the rougher side, uh, you know, the more street side of me, that's kind of who I played as in football. Um, and then we have um, the older side of me, which is called Scholar Hog, and I used to be part of a group, or still am part of a group. Let me take that back. I apologize. Part of a group called War Hog Records, and everybody was a hog. So I had just graduated college and joined this group, and everybody started making me freestyle like books. I don't know why, because I got out of college, they was like, "Yo, you smart, freestyle a book." Like that's crazy. So they start calling me Scholar, like he's a Scholar Hog. So. Um, okay. That's where that name came from. And Scholar Hog is kind of the older representation of me, uh, more of my my uh, wiser side. Um, these grays, you know what I'm saying? That's Scholar <laughs> Hog. You know what I'm talking about? And he, he likes his Hennessy. You know what I mean? He drinks his Hennessy and he stays okay. out the way. And he's usually okay. the calmer mind in the group trying to keep everybody together. You know what I mean? He's, he's the voice of reason within the group. You know what I mean? Uh, let me go back a little bit. Hugh Huss is the street. He with the smoke whenever, wherever. He with it. Who is it? You know, about, that. In my real, in my real life. See, people think these personalities don't be with me all day. They uh -huh. be with me all day. So in my uh -huh. real life as a teacher, when the admin get to tripping or a other teacher's acting silly, it'd be Hugh Huss that step out like, bro, give me five minutes and I'm going to let him know about himself. No, no, no. You can't do that at work. You feel me? Where yeah, scholar, that's when scholar comes out. That's, yeah, that's scholar come happen. out and be like, nah, bro, you need to handle it this way. Be professional. You know what I mean? Like, that's that personality. You feel me? And then there's... Uh, <laughs> uh, it's black and mild, but we'll get to black and mild in a minute. You know what I mean? Those three personalities is how the alter ego started, right? Okay. It was Ram Black, um, you know what I'm saying? The the athlete, the street dude, kind of, you know what I'm saying? The vessel. Let me okay. say it that way. The vessel. And then there was Hugh Huss, who was the more edgy side, the more... You know what I mean? Yo, what's happening? I'm with it, whatever. You know what I'm talking about? And mm -hmm. and that name came from Hugh Hustle when I used to be in the streets a little bit doing my thizzle. Mm -hmm. My middle name is Hugh. They didn't want to call me Randy. Nobody wanted to call me Black, so they used to call me Huey. I, I took it like Hugh Hefner, so I was like Hugh Hustle. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Huey Hustle. Like, so that's kind of where that name came from. I chopped it down. I started working with another dude. His name was Huey Hustle. So I was like, yo, hold on. Let me change my name a little bit. So I changed it to Hugh Huss. You feel what I'm saying? So uh -huh. those who really know me understand where that came from. So those three together, LA, those three together is how this thing started, right? Okay. And if you go listen to Where's Your Bike and Me, Myself, and I in the Alter Ego series, you'll see that those three egos was mm -hmm. really what started this thing, right? But even on those projects and further on into the uh, mixtape series, it's like five, six mixtapes now. Um, I was singing. I was singing on like backgrounds. Or I was singing a hook or something. Okay. 
So I used to smoke blacks a lot. You feel what I'm saying? And usually when I would sing, people, <laughs> listen, this is crazy. The people that really sing will be like, yo, you don't smoke when you're singing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but when I'm singing, I had to be outside the studio smoking a black, writing the song, because that's just what I was comfortable doing. You feel me? Okay. So my artist and my director of West Coast Music was like, yo, bro, the singing dude, the alter ego that sings the music, that's black and mild. And I was like, what? You feel me? Like, we didn't even have a name for him. We didn't even know who he was. Like, who he was. You know what I mean? And my, and my, oh, man. my guy, Eleven, was like, yo, that's Black and Mild. So I just encompassed it. Like, Black and Mild? Cool. Okay. Black and Mild. That's who it is. And Black and Mild, he the bougie one. You know what I mean? He the singer. He oh, the R&B. You know what I mean? He the R&B in this genre of music that we create and call hip hop and B. Q mm -hmm. Hus, hip hop. Black and Mild is the R&B. And that encompasses all the alter egos. Now we got another alter ego. His name Disco Black. He from the seventies and the sixties, oh, baby. Oh my! Talking about baby. I'm just trying to tell you that we can get this cracking, baby. You understand what I'm saying to you, baby? You know what I mean? So that's Disco oh, Black. You know what I mean? But he's more of the host. He's the comedian. He cracks the laughs. I'm gonna send you a link later on so you can check out the interview with all my alter egos all in the same room. The shit went up. Oh man. Yeah, the shit. That, oh, I need to see that. Yeah, that that sounds like a good time. That that alone sounds like a good time. <laughs> that, that alone sounds like I'm very interested in, see, in watching I, this. I might can pull up the uh <laughs> intro. Oh man. Let me see. So I mean, so now I know you're from you're originally from Kentucky. Yes, sir. I mean, yes, ma'am. Uh, <laughs> I apologize. It's all good. I know what you meant. I apologize. Uh, no, no, you're good. You're good. So uh, you're originally from Kentucky, but you you dwell in uh, is it Vegas? Yeah, I'm in yeah. Vegas. Yeah, yeah, Vegas. yeah, yeah. Okay, so how I'm in Cali too, though. Don't get it twisted. I lived in San Diego for five years. That's actually where we started. The uh -huh. whole. Let me take that back. We started Crown Republic um, Entertainment in Vegas, but I moved to San Diego probably a year after we started it. And it's crazy, DJ LA. It's crazy, real talk. In Vegas, I grew up here, went to high school, elementary school. I got a gang of people I know, my family, my kids, all that here. When I started doing music, I played football, had the opportunity to do the NFL. Woo, woo, woo. So everybody was looking at me like, the football dude is rapping. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was tripping, yeah. like, what? Like, that's crazy. So when I went to San Diego and nobody knew me, knew my background about nothing. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden, my fan base grows there. And that's where we started the RT Egos was in San Diego. Everything grows there. So by the time I come back to Vegas, everybody in Vegas like, yeah, dog, I see you doing your thing. But but damn, I started here, though. Like, I started here, though. Like Yeah, like you, you didn't know when I was here. Like, Man, I got to go. I got to leave here to, to get Yeah, started. that's what they say you got to do. That's what they say you got to do. That's how it goes. That is exactly how it goes. That's what they say. But how have you? So you know, being a, a country, a country boy, as mm. they say, um, how have you adapted to being in from you know being from Kentucky to the music scene in in Vegas or in Cali? Oh, uh, it's a mixture of both. You feel me? I'm okay. I'm from Kentucky. Um, excuse me. I'm from Kentucky. Came to Vegas when I was five. Spent okay. every summer in Kentucky after that. So I would go to school here in Vegas and then I spend my summers in Kentucky with my family. So as my tattoos say, like I got tattoos on my body that say country born city raised. Like that's who yeah, I am. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I kept the grounding and, and the slow life of the country lifestyle of Richmond, Kentucky all summer long. I was grounded in certain morals and investments and ideas that came mm -hmm. from the South. You feel me? And then I would come to Vegas all year long and jump in the fast lane. So, you know what I mean? I, I was molded and taught a certain kind of way. I, I would say I have a country upbringing and I have some Vegas mannerisms. You feel me? Absolutely. No, I, I understand wholeheartedly, uh, you know, being from Bermuda and, you know, having the New York mentality or living the New York lifestyle. Yeah. Or yeah. being uh, adapting to the New York. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I was about to say, just jumping in the yeah. lanes. Yeah, if you jump yeah. in the lanes, up. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I, I, I understand that wholeheartedly. Um, because I just know for me, like when you know, being from Bermuda, growing up in Bermuda, 
to then move to the to New York, and it was it was kind of a culture shock. Right. But it wasn't too bad because I've always found myself to be very uh, have that New York state of mind. Mm. So like that hustle and bustle, you know, city don't sleep. Right. right. Type of mentality. Right. So right. now I've been finding is is all about balance. So would you say that you somehow balance out the country boy or balance out the 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 Vegas or the, the city life? I balance know. everything. That, you, you just said <laughs> something. No, for real. You just said something that's been my key word for like three years, four years. And, you know, okay. I, I have uh, I have symptoms of CTE. I've been diagnosed with it, but they can't really diagnose you until you die. Right. Brain disease. Uh, crazy. So, uh. I get a lot of headaches and when I'm doing too much, you know what I mean? When I'm really stressing myself out, bro, my body, I feel that. You understand? So yeah. uh, again, my my director of music for the West Coast, I'm telling you, my brother, 11 MC, 11 was like, yo, bro, bro, you got to find balance. Four years ago, he told me this four years ago, you got to mm-hmm. find balance. And that's been my thing for the last four years. Like, I just got to have balance. And that means I don't, I, I like my peace. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm okay with being by myself. Like, I, don't get me wrong. I dig hanging out with my peoples. I dig putting in family time. I like to hang out. I go to the club every once in a while, but I'm cool, cool in the office or at the crib or laying in the bed by myself. Like, I'm super cool with that. You know what I mean? So, yeah, um, yeah man, I don't, I, shit, just balance period i don't it ain't even about just kentucky and vegas san diego or dallas or phoenix or colorado like it's all kinds of places that we located in as a company um but as you just said like the main the main focus is really balance man like balancing everything though you feel me yeah Uh, no absolutely and i mean so would you would you find yourself like dealing with like well not dealing but trying things like meditation because you know i know i heard you say that you like your peace and you know and yes it's all about balance but you know sometimes you have to center yourself and especially with the the many hats that you wear because i heard you say that you're a coach but you're also an artist uh, a teacher so how would you say like what would be your key way to unwind or to to kind of center you back to that balance. You want, so let so listen. I'm giving game to you right now, bro. So okay. If you if you if this goes out and then they start uh-huh. in my inbox t- making fun of me, I know it came from you and your show. You feel me? Um, I, like, I'll take full responsibility for that. I take oh, full responsibility. I uh, I sit in the shower and not even in the shower. Like I turn the shower on and lay on the bathroom floor. You feel me? And that's where I do a lot of my meditating. That's where I, I center myself. That's where I try to find my peace, um, especially if it's been a hard day. I'll cut yep. the shower on, lay a cover down or something and just lay there for an hour, just chilling, just in my zone, trying to feel out my emotions, my feelings, whatever I'm going through. I listen to the water, the shower. It sounds like rain to me. You feel what I'm saying? So it's soothing. Um, if you turn the shower on right before it gets like hot, you know what I mean? But it's still a little cold. It makes like a little damp moisture in your bathroom, make you feel like you're in a jungle or something. I'm just giving you some game. But yeah, I find I myself doing that a lot, you know what I mean? Just to center myself, get away from everybody, get a, in a dark, leave the lights off, dark, all of that, you know what I mean? Chill. I might roll me one, whatever it be, you know what I mean? Just sit in there and chill for a minute, stay into myself, my thoughts. And then sometimes the part where people might start inboxing me at because I'm a grown-ass man. I'll come home lock myself in the crib bros and 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 get on a video game you know what i mean get on something clear my mind do something that i can't do in real life i play some grand theft auto or some you know what i mean merca pumper you know i just get rid of some people right quick you know what i mean or i might get on a game where you got to build something you mean an rpg whatever like I, I i'm a gamer too you know what i mean so it just depends on what i'm in the mood for and how stressful the day is and what i'm trying to you know what i'm trying to do you feel me Young King, you ain't said nothing by the word. That, ain't nobody <laughs> finna listen. Hey, look, no, ain't nobody about to be making fun of you. Because if we're being a hundred percent honest, I do the same thing. Let's okay? get it. Let's get I, it. Now, I now, mind you, I went and lay on the bathroom floor for about an hour. Try it. Yo, try it. Try it. Listen, water is expensive. Try it. 
Oh, try everything. It. Just try it. Just try it once. Just okay. it's one to partake one time. Try it one time. I bet you'd be like, fuck them water prices. I ain't tripping. <laughs> <laughs> no, like what's what's some real so I like I don't know, but to me in the shower is is where I w- I don't want to say I'm most peaceful. Yeah. But it's it's the time to myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, having having a son, having a partner, it just you know the hustle and bustle of the day. Sometimes just coming home, turning on the shower, and yes, of course, getting cleaned up. But just for like twenty minutes, just standing there, just facts. Yeah, facts. you know. Facts. And with the gaming, hey, listen, you ain't said nothing but a word. I'm going. I'm not even going to lie to you. When this interview is finished, I'm the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to PS5. So what you doing? What you talking about? What is you talking about? You know what I'm saying? Yo, I'm it is. Like, I'll get in. You know yeah. what I mean? I mean, I mostly play, you know, two K and FIFA, but two K is like I my. Play too, though. I play them too, though. I play them too, though. I play. I play. Listen, if you look at my at my Xbox X right now, and you look in my gaming in my library, you'll be like, "Damn, you play all kinds of games." I play everything. It just depends on what mood I'm in, like what I'm in the in the mood to do. You, feel? I've been doing this since Atari, dog. You know what I'm talking about? Not, oh man, Atari, bro. So don't you know? So you're like, you showing know. your age right now. I, I mean, it is what it is. Age, you know, get on these sticks. I bet anybody that's viewing right now, twenty dollars on that good FIFA, Madden. You know what I'm talking about? Get online, Grand Theft. Red Dead, City Skyline. It don't matter whatever you do, <laughs> whatever you want to play. Bet me twenty, we can get in. <laughs> I'm here for it, man. <laughs> well, listen, you know, so you know, hopefully I, soon. I'm hoping. I don't know how true it is, but they're saying with the cross generations, you can, you know, the Xbox be able to play with the with the PS. You can do that now. Oh, you can do you that. Can? Now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's certain games, there's certain game when you get into the server. You can play okay. somebody else that might be in a different gen on a different console. Yeah, you can do that. All day. right, so let me know when you're ready to, to oh, yeah, take some handles. We're going to get off this thing. We're going to change social <laughs> medias, gamer tags. We're going to get all that in, DJ. All right, I'm I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it. But yes, beautiful people, make sure y'all follow and support this young king doing his thing out there with all his alter egos, all of them. Doing anything, and I honestly I cannot wait to see what becomes of it. I really I can't. It, You're definitely on something yeah. special. The goal is I'm gonna say this to you because we got it's, it's, it's like we manifesting this. We talking it in, right? Mm-hmm. The goal is to get the whole album in the chart, Billboard, right? Yes, sir. And looking at the numbers, also I'm signed to Empire. My my record label is it comes from Empire. So and looking at the numbers presented to me from Empire, we may not chart the whole album, right? Okay. But I got like two or three songs that's damn close. You understand me? I'm trying to tell okay. you some real shit. So we're going to speak it into existence. If we can't get the album charted, we're going to get one or two songs charted. You heard me? Run them up. Yes, Let's run them up. You heard yes, me? Yes, sir. Thank you so much for coming through. I uh, definitely going to be in contact, man. I definitely going to be in contact. You you too. Wish you all the best. Yes, sir. See you next time. Yes, sir.